Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, and I am The Crafty Author. And boy, oh boy, do I have a treat for you today. So, normally it's Sewing Talk Tuesday, and it still is. Um, however, I'm going to be doing a tutorial today for you. And um, I'm going to have to ask for your patience <laughs> because... I had to take my sewing machine in and get it, um, to get it cleaned and serviced and all of that. So, you know, just normal routine maintenance that you do annually for a sewing machine, which if you're not doing, you should be doing. Um, because then they can get in there and get all the gunk out that you can't get to. And um, if your machine needs oiling or whatnot, they they need to take care of that and you should do this for every kind of sewing machine it's not just the big expensive ones um if you have like a one that you've purchased from a walmart or whatever you should also get those serviced as well okay so domestic sewing machines they need to be serviced and cleaned anyway so what i have done is i have pulled out my original sewing machine that i used to quilt on and um the reason why I say I need some patience is because my other machine, my Janome machine, has some little gadgets on there that do things for me now that I forgot that <laughs> my other machine didn't do for me, okay? So, um, so like, for instance, when I finish sewing on my other, on my, the one I use currently, the, the foot will automatically pop up. It auto pivots for me. This one, it doesn't. You have to lift the little lever. So it's just little things like that. Um, but this machine sews so beautifully. I just hooked it up and I wanted to stitch it just to see how it would stitch out. And you know what? It stitches out amazing. I can't, I just, I can't believe how beautiful the stitches are on this machine. So I am going to quilt, I'm going to straight line quilt the wall hanging um, that. I'm going to be hanging back here. Um, I was going to do the baby quilt, but I have some black thread, some black bobbin thread that I really, really need to use up in this machine. So I'm going to put a black backing on the wall hanging here, and that's what we're gonna use. But I want to show you really quick the stitches. Oh my Lord, look at this. I just stitched that out with this machine and those stitches are gorgeous. So, yes. So I'm going to show you how to quilt on a domestic sewing machine. And you know that wall hanging quilt isn't real tiny, right? It's, it's pretty good sized. So I'm going to show you real quick and then we're gonna get started. All right. I am holding the camera, so if it is a little shaky, I do apologize, but I do want you to see, just so you know, oops, the size of the throat in this machine. This is an actual quilting machine. This is probably one of my favorite machines that I've ever owned. It's quiet. Um, the stitching is beautiful on it. You can free motion quilt on it. You can straight quilt on it. Um, it does have enough space in the throat to where you can put a pretty large size quilt through it. I have quilted a queen size quilt on this machine. Um, it is just a fantastic machine. I can't say enough about it. And I do have this um, particular sewing machine in my Amazon shop. So if you want to purchase this machine, it is down below in the description box where my Amazon store is. Um, I purchased this machine from off of Amazon from a store there. And so I have also sent you to the same person that I purchased my machine from because I trusted them and it's been a great machine. And I've had this machine for close to probably six, seven years now. This machine has had a lot of use, I'm just saying. So we're gonna get started now. So let's go. Okay, I have the quilt prepared. That's the back. Here's the front. And we are just going to begin 
straight line quilting. This is on a domestic sewing machine. It's gonna be very, very fun and very easy. I'm gonna start right here. Uh, and I am going to, I like to needle down and then needle up because I wanna pull up the bobbin thread. It's just my personal preference to do this. Come on. And I'm clearly not pulling up the right thing. Okay, like I said, you're gonna have to bear with me for just a second, okay? <laughs> I'm still trying to get the hang of this because it's been a while. And um, also, I wanted to let you know that I am using a walking foot. So whenever I straight line quilt, I always want to use a walking foot, okay? So I'm just gonna push those strings to the back and I am going to put my presser foot down. That's the other thing that I keep forgetting to do is push my presser foot. And I'm just gonna needle down. I'm gonna find my foot pedal because it's a little, I'm not in my same sewing spot, so everything's a little bit kind of mixed up. I'm gonna use this line to go all the way down. I'm gonna use this seam line right here. And we're gonna just start sewing. If this starts to become a problem for you, you can always roll it. You can also wear quilting gloves. I'm not wearing quilting gloves for this. Okay. Coming to the edge here. Okay. Now. Now that I'm here, I could either just sew over a little bit and go down that line, or I could tie it off here and do whatever. So I'm going to, I believe, I'm just gonna go ahead and pivot. And I'm just going to sew, take a couple stitches here in my ditch. I'm gonna lift this back up. And I'm going to pull the quilt through. And I'm not quite on that line, so I need to take a couple more stitches. So I'm just going to push my quilt through, okay? Okay, now let's try. That looks good right there. Okay, so... Now you can see I have a lot of bulk on this side into the throat area. Just gonna kind of tuck that under there and just make sure that I'm keeping this portion that I'm working on very, very flat. Trying to get you a little better close up here. Readjust to make sure everything is flat. Continue sewing. Readjust. And for this, I use um, 505 spray. So, in case you're wondering why I don't have this pinned to death like I normally do, it's because of that. I just thought for something smaller like this, it would make it much easier. So now we're kind of here and I'm just going to backstitch it just a little bit and I'm going to cut the threads. Okay. So we're done with that section. So now I'm going to come over to this side, this side over here. 
in the center and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to find that seam that's running down. Now you can use whatever you want. I just like to use my seams as a marker. It just makes it a little easier for me to track kind of what I'm doing here. And uh, clearly I need some tweezers, but because I can't seem to grab the little, I got it. First try and I got it. All right, so I'm gonna continue to do this and whoops gotta put my needle down right so i'm just gonna i'm gonna continue just sewing the rows All right, so I have gone ahead and I have finished our wall hanging and I uh, quilted it all on the domestic sewing machine as I displayed. Um, I will probably go ahead and fast forward through most of it because I don't think you need to watch me stitch, you know, uh, 40 minutes worth of uh, <laughs> quilting there. Anyway, this is what it looks like now that it is finished. I have gone ahead and I put binding around it. I have added a sleeve on the back so that I can put a bar through this. It's on both ends, as you can see there. This is what our back looks like. I have put on my little quilt tag and what else am I gonna show you? I don't think there's anything else to show. It looks fantastic. It quilted up really nicely, as you can see. So, that is it. And um, all done on a regular sewing machine. So, that is it for me today. If you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to like this video and share it, because sharing is caring. And don't forget to subscribe so that you'll get notified each and every time I upload a new video. And if you would like to purchase anything through my links, including the sewing machine that I used today, that is down below. Um, also in the description box in my Amazon store, please note that anything that you purchase through my links, I do make a small commission as I am an affiliate and everything that you do does help to help this channel grow, help me buy equipment for it and what not. So I wanna thank you all for joining me today. I will catch you guys next time on The Crafty Author and keep on crafting. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.